Hi beautiful people, how are y'all doing today? Welcome back to a new video if you're a regular viewer here and if you're new here, hello! My name is Mahal Anagachu and I'm an Ethiopian American artist here on YouTube and I make art videos. So today, first of all, ignore the makeup. I made a reel earlier today, like kind of for the first time, not really for the first time, but a different concept for the first time. And I don't feel like washing this makeup off because I think it's cute. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about a recent collaboration that I did with a fellow artist and give y'all tips and tricks on how to start your own collaborations with your favorite artists, how to go about this, and why you should collaborate as well. So first, how the process started off was a few weeks ago, I, or beginning of July, I was like, you know what, this month, I want to collaborate with somebody, with like an artist that I love their style and we can create something at a similar concept and like communicate and work with each other and everything. And I was like, I'm gonna make that happen. So, <laughs> so I reached out to a few artists and um, one was like, okay, I'm gonna do this, yes. And her name is uh, Alex or at GrooveDelix on Instagram check out their art like literally it's so good so amazing um and so we decided to do a collaboration together and pretty much how i interpreted it i was like this is like my first time doing an art collab um but the way that i interpreted it interpreted it <laughs> was that um i came up with a theme for both of us to create a piece to we create our own pieces and then post each other's on social media and like give each other a shout out kind of so it's like a win-win situation you get to make fun art and make new art friends and yeah and so the theme that i came up with that i thought would be really awesome to do was childhood memory so i wanted um both of us to really interpret it however we wanted it to in our own style and everything and just make it look like really unique cool and have a kind of background behind it you know not like literal background but like like a something like a story you know <laughs> so for my piece i decided to make a piece dedicated towards my teeth so first of all how that came about was i wanted to draw teeth or paint teeth in some way and i was like oh this would be perfect because if y'all didn't know um when i was younger or when i was little i had my teeth were like one and a half years behind or something so they would layer and cause this phenomenon called shark teeth and which pretty much means your teeth layer um, on top of each other i think it's pretty common in, in kids and it like pokes out everywhere and yeah it's not it's not fun to deal with thankfully it, for me it wasn't painful at all it was just like annoying and i was very very insecure about my smile for like literally the, the longest time um and so i wanted to like dedicate an homage to my inner child's insecurity about my smile because now i love my smile um and i never got braces you know y'all not y'all <laughs> you know people would try to tell me to get braces and i i used to want braces when i was little but now i'm kind of glad i did not because yeah that's how this unique smile is brought about baby <laughs> and so i wanted to paint this concept of shark teeth and make it look kind of like a badass and colorful and really cool looking you know so first i started off with just a sketch i'll insert a clip of the sketches here that i came up with i knew for sure i wanted to do like a big like chunk of a mouth you know and do someone like pulling their mouth back with their finger i don't know why i think it's like very like kind of aggressive but like very dynamic kind of pose you know and i wanted to like have shark in the painting like because you know ha ha shark teeth you know it's like uh what's it called onomatopoeia that's <laughs> that is not the word um you know it's a it's a play on, a play on words that's what i mean to say um and so yeah so from there i started the sketch i shared that with alex and they also messaged me and we were brainstorming ideas figuring out what we wanted to do and eventually she came up with an idea of like when you stay up late at night and you're like surfing the channels and it kind of feels very like dreamlike and very like out of this world that's the kind of concept that she was kind of going for and i was just like so excited because i love working with other artists and i love like talking and just hyping each other up it's gonna be very happy you know um so then over the next couple of days we were both working on our own separate paintings and checking up on each other and making sure that we were like on track um we set a deadline for ourselves so that we could be like kind of strict about it even though we had to push it one week because we both were like 
I need more time. <laughs> I need more time. This is not enough time. And then from there, we finished our paintings and uh, posted each other's paintings as well on our page. Y'all know me, I love to talk, so I wrote a long ass caption about the backstory. And if y'all want to check out the full piece, you can go to my Instagram at Kim Miles. And don't forget to follow while you're there. I post a lot of awesome stuff. And I kind of, I just love, I chat with y'all a lot on my stories, which is like always super lovely. I love talking to y'all and interacting. So if you want some of that with me, then go ahead and follow. And also you can see some baby photos that I included of myself in the post to show my smile. Even though it's crazy because when I was younger, I like really hated my smile. I like did not like how it looks. But now looking back, I'm like, oh, baby Mahala, you're so cute, what? But like, it's very interesting how much my face has shaped and like how teeth change your face shape, you know, it's a very interesting concept. <laughs> And yeah, overall, I'm literally so happy that we uh, collaborated together, Alex and I. It was so lovely. And now I will get into the part of the video where I'll tell y'all why you should collaborate with artists. And so the reason why I think that you should collaborate with artists, even if they're fellow mutuals or even if they're like a little bit bigger, um, it doesn't hurt to give a direct message, you know, on Instagram, hit up those DMs. Um, I just think it's really lovely because you get to kind of expand your mindset on different concepts that can come about from themes and it's just really lovely to have a fellow artist you're both working together both creating together and exploring new ideas together and it's just a really lovely process that like i know alone it's really nice and lovely to have like kind of all the control you know like it's just you creating but i feel like there's nothing there's nothing like collaboration it's just kind of like a whole other world of connection and you're able to really interact with each other and understand how your brains work kind of and who knows you can also potentially make like a new art friend and yeah alex and i were actually mutuals beforehand um but this is honestly so nice because i wanted to like get to know them more kind of and uh it was really lovely so i think we had a good connection and um Overall, just really nice. I really recommend if you get the chance, if you want to go outside of your comfort zone, then collaborate with yeah, artists that you admire on Instagram. And also it's a win-win situation for both of you because um, both of you get more exposure and it leads to growing your audience. And who knows what can come from that, you know, a whole other world of opportunities. And yeah, overall, I had a really lovely time with this collaboration and I hope you all enjoyed this painting footage as well. I know this video is a little bit shorter than usual. I wasn't really sure like how much to talk or like what to talk about because, you know, it's all the footage is there. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this little video of me talking about my collaboration process. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more content from yours truly if you'd like to see more of my face on your subscription page. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and turn on those post notifications as well if you want to see me on your feed and be notified when I upload a video. And I hope y'all have a lovely, great, abundant day. Go collaborate, go have fun with art, and have a great day. I love you. Bye. Baby, I know what you're going through. I'll be waiting up for you all night. Don't think it's too much to ask for. You'll see